All right, so let's take a look at ScanBot. All right, now I'm going to stop that for a second because otherwise it would start scanning. <laughs> All right, so ScanBot, you can automatically set it to upload your scans as soon as you take them. So if I want it to enable automatic upload, and let me just click this and show you this for a second. I can set it to automatically upload to Dropbox, Google Drive, um, Wonderlist, Evernote, Slack, and some of these others that you see listed here. But that is not the same as syncing to iCloud Drive. It can also automatically <coughs> sync to iCloud Drive, which I have turned on. So uh, with the other app I showed you that I had to upload it. With this app, everything automatically goes there. So, or is safe there because I have this turned on. And I have text recognition turned on. Smart naming is set. And actually, let me click on that. They have a lot of tags that are automatically in this app. And you can create your own or use any of these. So if you don't have the time to tap and put in uh, input the uh, words automatically, you can set up your own tags so that all you have to do is just click on the tags and it will add them to the name. Oops, all right, I'll get back to that. So let's go, let's go to ScanBot and month and day. All right, so I just wanted to show you that for a second. I'm done. And uh, start with the camera, Say I can tell it to save to the camera roll. This one allows me to set quality and file size. So scan quality, I can go low res, ew. I can go medium, which is a little better, and you can go high and best. Best, of course, is going to give you the largest file, but high is pretty acceptable. So can you see the quality change as I tap on these? Yeah. All right, so you can decide what quality you want for your scans. I'm going to just leave it at high, actually, go to best. All right. And one of the reasons that I brought you into this screen beforehand is that I find the interface a little hard to work with right now because it's red, bright red. So what I like about this is that it has themes and I can change the theme to whatever suits my eyes because maybe different times of day your eyesight wants to see different things. So I'm going to set it at Obsidian. I like that one a little better. And select the theme. So now I'm working with this thing. So, personal preference here. All right, so let's choose, I'm gonna choose done, and actually I'm gonna choose done while I'm doing this, because this app will automatically recognize that a page is in front of it, and it's going to start scanning without me clicking or tapping for it to be in focus, and then telling it to scan. So let's choose done and scan. And it's giving me little note, notes. Searching document, perspective. So let me move my camera. And at some point, if I get this right, it's going to tell me don't move. OK, come on. All right, I see a little shadow. Let's try this one. You see it giving me all these note, notations, don't move. All right, it just took a scan. And now it's finishing up. And it right, right at the top here, you can see the name that it gave it. And you see the little iCloud Drive icon. It's automatically sent it to iCloud Drive already. And let me let me save. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. But Why did I set it for iCloud Drive? 
it's just easier because even depending on um, where I am, sometimes I don't like putting in my passwords to my account. So I could automatically link it to Dropbox so that it automatically goes there. But I, for this demonstration, when I'm at home, it's just easier to have it go to iCloud Drive. Okay? All right, so hold on a second. I'm going to show you something else. So down in the lower left corner, you see it says 1 to infinity. If I slide this over, if I let it will recognize, it will automatically start scanning multiple pages for me. If perspective, it's, it's picking up that light and the shadow. That's why it's not. So if it doesn't find that, I can do this manually. Searching document, perspective, don't move. There you go. You saw that? So now when I move over, it's going through. Yeah, nothing found. Come on. Don't move. Move closer. All right, I'll move closer. All right, don't move. So it's automatically scanning. Even if I come here, it's going to try to pick this up. And it's going to say, don't move. Perspective. Okay, come back. It's picking up the shadow from the light there. So, but you get the idea of what it's doing. <coughs> say yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. All right. All right. So now, um, no, don't scan that. Give me one. Um, turn that down. All right. So I've got that. All right. So it's scanned two, and I'm gonna click on the two, and it takes me, and it takes me to the pages that is already scanned. Here's one, and here's two, and I'm going to save those two pages. And it tells me it's processing. And the scan information also tells me, or the page information also tells me how many pages are in that. So it's still processing. And I have OCR automatically turned on. So once it processes, I can go in and work with the text. So I'm still waiting for it to finish. <laughs> Any questions while I'm waiting for it to finish processing? Yes, sir. If you have a very large document, can you stitch it together? So, uh, I would think so, yes. Because you know, you can step back. Yes, I would definitely try it. It, it, would, it would be just like taking this page and have it folded in half and yeah. just turning it over. So, yes. John? Uh, you mentioned it's not really uploading to iCloud Drive, but it's syncing with it. Syncing whatever changes I make to the document on my iPhone are automatically sent to my computer. Syncing. All right. All right, so let me continue on with this. So you see that I've enlarged this scan. And if I hold down my finger, you see that I can now select this text. And I can copy it, define it, or speak it. Speaking, uh, yeah. it won't. Doesn't want to speak. Okay, speak. Yeah. Uh, oh, I told you, do not it's on. Do not disturb. So I'll just, I'll just keep moving on. All right. So it's. You see that it has OCR at the text because I can select it. I can copy it. I can even search the text. So let me go back. Go back. And select that, and where are you? Oh, I'm here. Here you are. There. I clicked on the little icon in the upper right corner, and it brings up features. Show, copy, share, search. So I selected search, and I want to find the word and. So now it's gone through all of the text in these two pages to show me where it is. So if I click on any one, it will show me where it's at and that is. So I'll zoom in. Well, it shows me where they all are. So, and it will take you to them. 
So I got a lot of and here. So really sweet. All right, so search, share, copy, show. And if I want to edit, I have where I can also highlight. So let me zoom in. And oops, big highlight. And let's erase that. So, and I can add a notation here. And notation. Uh, Acrobat. Not reader. Okay, let's name that article. And choose, close that, and the little notes there. I can even add a signature. So I'm going to click on the icon in the lower right corner, and it brings up, this is something that I already put in there. I'm going to take that one, oops, I'm going to edit, just take that one out, and let's add another one, and let's put in, okay, not much better, but choose done, so save. All right, it did not come through. Let me try that again. It probably came through, but all right, so let's go there again. All right, there it is. All right, so I can put my signature there and resize it if I need to and save. I can also password protect. I can also set reminders. So you see a little stopwatch down here. I can save reminders in the ScanBot app or save reminders in the iPhone's reminder app. Let's close that. And now I'm going to save that. And if I wanted to change the name, let's say if I wanted to add a custom name, tap here to create a new tag. So let's just say I wanted to name this one reader or have a tag reader. So now I've added that. Let me go back and document type. So I can take that out of there and I can just click on the tags to tell it what I want this name to be. And other features, date, time, calendar, document type. Let's choose save. So now my document has a new name. You can see it across the top. All right, so let me close out of this for a second and go to my computer. And let's go to iCloud Drive. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I have a folder missing, sorry. Okay, at this point, a file was not showing up on my iCloud drive. So what I had to do was go to iCloud.com. And once I logged in to my account, the iCloud drive did show up in the finder. So now I'm going to continue on with the information I wanted to present about the ScanBot app. So now you see that the file that I just been working with, Acrobat Article Reader, is on my, uh, on my, in my finder on uh, iCloud Drive. I'm going to double click it to open it up. And I want it to show you that this file is already OCR'd. It maintains that quality from the ScanBot app. Okay. All right, so going back into ScanBot, I'm going to open up that scan that I just created. And I wanted to show you that if I select the icon in the upper right hand corner to show some of the other options that are available, I want to select Show. And with the Show button, I can see all of the text that has been OCR'd in the document. Uh, there are a couple of what you might call artifacts here, but 
for the most part, I got all of the text from those two files. Now that I can see all of the text, I can still copy the text and even define or speak the text. There it is, it's speaking. Okay, so let's stop that. And, and one more time back in there. And notice that I can increase the size of the text or make the text smaller. To show how iCloud Syncing works with the ScanBot app, I'm going to add a note. So let me press the note button, add a note here, and we're going to type in test note. Okay, and then I'm going to close the note and now I'm going to save the document. Now looking at my computer screen, you're going to see that the app is processing and you automatically saw that processed with the um, iCloud sync. You saw the iCloud icon, iCloud drive icon appear. It processed just that fast and uh, then disappeared. And just, uh, let's try that again. Let me add one more note. And let's add just another note here. And I'm going to just type in two. Close that and save. And now watch the finder icon. And there you see it appear and there's the iCloud drive icon. So it automatically syncs changes that I make on my iPhone to iCloud drive. Now the next thing I'm going to do is save this document and I'm actually going to password protect it first. So I clicked on the edit icon and now I'm going to click on the little lock in the lower middle portion of the screen and I'm going to give this document a password and I'm going to name it read and verify the password which is read R E A D and guaranteed that won't be the password used again so I'm going to choose OK and now you see the lock at the bottom of the icon uh, area so let me choose save by locking your document with pass with password you will lose all annotations okay so I don't want to do that but for the sake of this presentation. I'm going to go ahead and choose continue. So the document is locked. All right, it's processing right now. So now if I go back to the other documents and I'm going to select this one and you see that the document is locked and in order to get to it I have to enter the password. What I'm going to do right now though, I'm just going to use the I want to use the Touch ID to unlock it instead of using uh, the password all the time. So I'm going to go back to the screen and go back to the um, settings and I'm going to choose Password Lock and Touch ID. Right now it's off. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to enter a new passcode 1111 and guaranteed again that won't be my passcode. So I'm going to choose Done and re-enter it again and choose save so that's on and it's set to auto lock after so many minutes I can choose five or ten uh, I'm going to just leave that at one and let's go back to the document and I'm going to choose done then go back to the document so let's select the document again so I'm going to click on the little thumbprint on the right hand side and now use my thumb and it automatically opens the document. So you can password protect using the iPhone Touch ID technology that's already there. This is Sheeta Hunter. Hope this was helpful. Until next time.